Welcome to a code report solution video. In this video, we are going to be covering the solution to a problem entitled Appy and Balloons from the Code Chef October 2018 Long Challenge. The problem states Appy loves balloons. She wants you to give her balloons on each of the n consecutive days numbered 1 through n. Let's denote the number of balloons Appy wants on day i by ai. The problem is that you only have m balloons. Fortunately, you can give her candies instead of balloons as well. On each day i, Appy accepts bi candies per each balloon you do not give her. Formally, if you give Appy xi balloons on day i, then you have to give her ci, which is equal to the maximum of 0 and ai minus xi times bi, the cost of the candies on that day as well. Your task is to minimize the maximum number of candies you can give Appy on some day. Find the minimum possible value of the max of the number of candies that you have to give Appy on each one of the days. And the constraints for this problem that the number of days we are going to have is going to be between 1 and 10 to the 5th. Uh, the number of balloons that you're going to have to give out across these days to start with is going to be 10 to the 18th. And then um, the number of balloons and the cost of the balloon on each day is going to be between 0 and 10 to the 9. So let's take a look at the example that Code Chef provided us with and see if we can understand this problem a little bit better. So here is the example. Uh, we have two numbers at the top. The first one is n, which is equal to 5 here, the number of days. And the second one is equal to m. So m is 3 here, which means that we have three balloons to start. And so the next two lines represent uh, the number of balloons. So the first line is a. So we have five uh, values in our array a, which represent the number of balloons that Appy wants on each day, uh, one after another. And then uh, the values on the second line represent our array b, which is the cost of a uh, num the number of candies you need to pay in order to replace a balloon if you don't give it to her. So these are coincidentally the same, but we'll look at a different example where we're different, where they're different, so uh, that can be clear how this works. So if we visualize this, it basically means that on each of the five days, Appy wants one balloons, two, three, four, and five. And if we assume that we are going to just pay completely with candies and we're not going to give her any balloons, so assume that m is equal to zero, this is what we end up with. So you're going to end up paying only one candy on day one because it only costs one candy for one balloon, uh, but it gets more expensive as the days go on. So if you don't give her any balloons on day two, it's going to cost you two candies per balloon, which means it's going to cost you four in total. Uh, then 3 per balloon you don't give her, therefore it's going to be 3 times 3 is 9, uh, and then 4 times 4 is 16, and then on the 5th day, for every balloon you don't give her, and she wants 5, you have to give her 5 candies, meaning that you're going to end up giving her 25 candies. So if we assume that, you know, just to visualize and understand its problem, that we don't have any balloons, or we're not going to give her any balloons, or we're going to pay the full cost in candies, uh, this is what it will look like on each of the days. So the problem is asking, given a certain number of balloons to start with, which in this case is three, how can we minimize these orange bars? How can we minimize the uh, number of candies that we give to her on every single day? So the maximum number of candies that we give her across the days. So if you're going to solve this using brute force, which you can to get sort of a subset of the points of this problem, the way you would do this is just set up some sort of sorted data structure and then keep track of the cost of each one of these, um, the number of candies per balloon that you have to pay, and then just, just decrease uh, the number of sort of candies that you have to pay one by one while you still have balloons. So we would start by decreasing obviously on day five because it costs the most and we're paying the most here. So we want to decrease the maximum value. So if we replace five of these candies with one balloon because that's what it costs, we'll end up with this. So it's still the maximum. So we would do it one more time. And at this point, we've used up two of our three balloons and the maximum is day four. So we would decrease this by four four balloons because that's what you have to pay, uh, four candies because that's what you have to pay for one balloon. And this is what you would end up having. So the maximum at this point is now 15 and that's why the example here is showing us that uh, the optimal way of handing out the balloons in terms of minimizing the number of candies that you give out across all the days is uh, 15. So if we take a look at a different example, here all I've done is change the cost 
of each balloon for each day to be consistent. So uh, it's only going to cost you one candy per balloon. So if we graph this, it now looks uh, the, the both the blue and the orange uh, columns are the same height. And so here we still have three um, we still have three balloons and we're going to do the same algorithm so basically we just reduce uh, this top bar five to four and then we have two four values it doesn't really matter which one we decrease next and then uh, with our last balloon we're going to decrease the four stack down to three uh, and so at this point we can see that the maximum number of candies that we're paying on any given day is going to be three uh, so that sort of informs how this problem works and you can, like I said before, go about doing the brute force, but this isn't going to get you full points um, because you're going to end up uh, hitting TLE, time limit exceeded, um, for the more complicated test cases. And if we go back and take a look at our constraints for this problem, you'll note that the number of days we have is uh, 10 to the 5th, which is already pretty big. And then the number of uh, balloons that we have to start with is it can be up to 10 to the 18. So the brute force algorithm where you sort of one by one just go and decrease the number of, um, you know, what day by day and stack by stack, it's definitely not going to work. And whenever you see this 10 to the 18th, um, you should always be thinking log n uh, because even a linear uh, algorithm is going to time out. So the only algorithm that can work on uh, this full range is going to be log n and when you think of log n you can you should think of binary search so basically what we're going to do is we're going to figure out a way uh, to calculate if given a certain number of candies is it sufficient to meet uh, the requirements of um, you know appy getting uh, the number of balloons that she wants on every single day and then we're just going to binary search uh, to the correct answer so the way we're going to do this is we're going to use this formula so you can think of basically the fact that here in when we have our solution the maximum the worst case maximum is three that we can we don't actually need to worry about matching uh, you know these we can just assume that on every single day we give out uh, three candies and what what we're gonna do then is then for each day AI represents the blue bars that's how many balloons app he wants we're just going to subtract that maximum number of candies across all days which is just going to be a guess to start and then we're going to divide it by the cost of uh, candies um, on that day and so in certain cases we're going to end up with way more candies than we need to cover all the balloons that she wants on that day uh, but on other days um, we're not going to have enough so on these two last days uh, we have three candies the cost on each of these days is one so on the fourth day we're still going to need one balloon and on the fifth day we're still going to need two balloons and so we're going to sum all those values across every single one of the days and then we're going to check uh, is it less than or equal to the number of balloons or is it greater than and what this summation represents is the number of balloons that we need so when comparing it against m if the number of balloons that we need is greater than the number of balloons that were given m we are going to jump into the right hand side of our binary search so uh, for instance when we're starting with this problem uh, we have a minimum of a zero and a maximum of five in terms of uh, the orange columns, so the number of candies that we would have to pay uh, if we had zero balloons. And so we're gonna just take the middle, so add these together, divide by two. And what this is gonna look like is the following. So we're gonna go through AI minus the candies divided by BI. So BI for this problem is always gonna be one. So we're just basically taking the difference between uh, the blue bar and the orange bar and we're flooring it at zero. So here we're gonna have negative one, which is gonna to go to zero. Here we're gonna have zero. Uh, but on day three, we're gonna need one balloon. Day four, we're gonna need two balloons. And day five, we're gonna need three balloons. So in total, we're gonna to need six balloons. And we're gonna compare that against the three balloons we're given. And clearly, we need more candies. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna set our left equal to our mid, and then we are going to take a new mid. So two plus five divided by two is equal to 3.5, rounded down to three. 
And uh, then we're gonna do the same thing. So this time when we do it, uh, we go through the same process, negative two floored at zero, negative one floored at zero, zero, and then we need one balloon on day four and two balloons on day five. Uh, and this is equal to three, so when we compare this to three, uh, we're gonna not going to be resetting left, we'll be resetting right now. And so you're just going to do this until we hit our end condition. At that point, we'll return left, which will be our answer. So it's actually a pretty straightforward problem once you recognize that you need to do a binary search, and then you just need to reverse engineer this uh, this formula here, which is pretty straightforward when you think about it. It's basically just recognizing the fact that whatever the maximum number of candies uh, that you have throughout the number of days, you can just apply to every single day um, because that's what it's looking for. It's not looking for like the total number of candies you pay out, it's just looking to minimize the maximum number of candies. So you can simplify the problem uh, by doing that and then once you have that fact, you can basically just figure this out because it's it's just sort of what you're doing. You're going through day by day, taking the blue bar and subtracting the number of candies uh, divided by the cost to figure out the number of balloons that you need. And then just once you've summed that over all the days, comparing it against M. So hopefully that makes sense. Uh, and if it was a little bit unclear, hopefully making uh, looking at the code or walking through the code will uh, clarify any confusion that you still have. So let's take a look at our code. So here is our C++ solution. Uh, just to note, throughout the solution, you can see LL, which is just a type alias for long, long, and we also have our macro for our for loop. Um, and we're gonna start here at the main function. So we're just doing some declaration and some reading in of uh, input. Note that we have to use long, longs throughout our solution because of the uh, constraints of our problem. So really all we're doing up until you know the fifth or sixth line is reading things into our vectors that we've declared a and b which just correspond to the problem and we have uh, this value r that we're setting up here by just setting it to be the maximum of uh, the orange bars which are just a times b uh, and so once we have that we're going to enter our binary search so our end condition is as uh, l being greater than or equal to r and then we set up our mid here so like i said for the first example uh, we're just going to have zero and five divided by two equals to two and then we're calculating the number of balloons needed uh, given that this value here is the number of candies that we're assuming is the maximum over the number of days. So we pass in our vectors a and b and this sort of number of candies into this function here. And this is basically just uh, an accumulate, but we can't use accumulate, std accumulate, because we are iterating across both vectors a and b. But you can see here we just initialize a value c at the top here. Uh, we have this little check in here to make sure that if we're not uh, having a divisible by zero error, and then we're just doing a plus equals of the formula that I showed before. So the maximum uh, of a i minus the candies divided by b i and zero. So this max and zero is basically just a floor at zero. And then once we are finished doing our plus equals, we return C, and then we have the number of balloons needed given that we are uh, have this many worst case candies across our number of days. And then we just do a check. If the number of balloons that are needed are less than or equal to M, the number of balloons that we're starting with, uh, we set R equal to mid, else we know we need to um, dish out more candies so that we reduce the number of balloons that we have. So we set our, our lower bound of our range to be mid plus one. So once you finish this loop, you're finished your binary search and you can just return L. And the last thing to talk about is the time complexity, which for this problem is going to be N times log M because uh, we are iterating through uh, our vectors a and b, which are length n here, and then this uh, binary search here is going to be log of m because that's uh, the constraints on l and r. As always, if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, hit that like button. If you want to see more, make sure to hit that subscribe button. You can follow me on Twitter for reminders 30 minutes before contests start, and you can find all of the code shown in my videos on my GitHub page. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.